Today I thought I would make something simple. I'd make French toast and eggs. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cooking episode. I have my dishwashers on. You might be able to hear it. Or it's just the sound of the waves and the, the ocean. We're doing this in Cape Cod, so I hope the white noise helps you sleep. Okay, so today we're gonna make breakfast. I thought we would change it up a bit. One time we made pancakes. Today I thought I would make something simple. I'd make French toast and eggs. I know that sounds kind of basic, but I do have... Well, the French toast is definitely gonna be good, but the eggs, you'll see. It's gonna be very creamy. Okay, so for our ingredients, we have grated brioche bread, eggs, vanilla extract, not to be the bear for Contessa, but good vanilla extract. We have ground cinnamon, sugar, maple syrup, butter, milk, whole milk, and we have whipping cream because we're gonna make a little bit of whipped cream to go on top. First things first, we're gonna make the whipped cream. I took a mixing bowl and I put it into the freezer so that it's super, super cold because it really just helps keep the whipping cream cold and you want it to just be cold. So I'm just gonna pour just a little bit because it's only one of me. And then you literally, this is it. You whip until it's firm. Now, I did shoulders today, so this is gonna be a goddamn nightmare. As my mother would say, we're roughing it. Isn't this fun, Chris? I'm just getting cream everywhere. It looks like a bukkake. I feel very Julia Childs doing it this way. To be <laughs> I just gave away my hand mixer, so. See how it thickens up? And I'm sort of leaning it on one side, so as I whip, I'm getting all of it. And sort of at this point, when it gets really thick, it's starting to get thicker. I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar, so that way it's sweet. Maybe like a teaspoon of sugar, maybe two, so that I have an extra sweet breakfast. And then keep going. My arm feels like absolute jello, but it's gonna be worth it when it goes on top of the French toast. I'm starting to really form stiff peaks, which is what we want. You're just whipping air into it is essentially what you're doing. This looks good. Yeah, that looks good. That's great. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let this cool down, or stay cool, rather. Okay, so, for our bread, I think when it comes to French toast, on it, some people have very different theories about it, like, oh, you should use bread that's really stale, because then it sucks up the eggs, and I don't actually think there's a wrong way. I think it's just whatever bread that you really like is the bread that you're gonna use for French toast. I happen to like brioche, just because it's so soft. I don't have a bread knife, so, oh, this works perfectly. I'll do pretty thick slices. good too because it's just me eating and Chris I'm only doing two slices because that's ridiculous to do more all right so now we have our bread we're gonna make our base for it so basically you or I mean we're making a what is it called I just said it like a pudding no base, base. what is the word I just used it two seconds ago it's like a a custard. I didn't even say custard. I thought I said custard. We're creating a custard. For just two slices, I'm gonna use just three eggs. I mean, I don't think we need more than that. It will soak up a lot. You know what, just for safety, let's do four. Look at how good these eggs look. I mean, these are like nice and yellow. They're almost like the sun. I mean, they're fucking, these look good. Ooh, those eggs look orange. These are great eggs. These chickens ate very well. Probably eating better than me, to be honest with you. All right, so here's the ingredients that I mix into it. I mix in French vanilla. What smells better than fucking vanilla extract? Now we're just getting high. Okay, so I'm putting in vanilla extract. I literally feel like the Barefoot Contessa. I'm putting in some whole milk, some sugar, and I'm gonna put in some ground cinnamon. This is our custard. I'm just gonna mix it for a while because I wanna make sure that that sugar fully dissolves because I want the bread to get that sugar. Custards are pretty easy to make, to be honest with you. Now we move on to the pan. I'm sorry, this is not a low fat meal. This meal is specifically just you are gluttonous. So we're gonna use a good amount of butter. Because you have to remember, if you're getting brioche bread, this bread soaks up everything. Let's say medium low, medium heat. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm like thinking about it now, I'm like, when I grew up, when you had pancakes, we had Bisquick pancakes. I still like Bisquick pancakes. And I still like the bis- well, Bisquick's a little- I actually haven't had a Bisquick pancake since I was a kid. So I'm sure now, because my taste palette is different, maybe I wouldn't like it. But I just remember loving it when I was a kid. And I also remember loving when the when the pancakes were like unfinished in the middle. Like they were gooey in the middle. I'm sure I got like 
like poisoning or whatever, but uh, such good times. Okay, so, but French toast, it's so much easier than waffles. It's so much easier than pancakes. It's so much, it's like easier than all of it. I mean, you're really just taking bread, dipping it into your custard, fry it, eat it. Whereas like, I think pancakes are a little bit more of a production. Which do you prefer, waffles, pancakes, or French toast? French toast. Really? I have it I actually agree with that. Why are pancakes always more special? <laughs> pancakes have won out in every single argument. If I saw pancakes or French toast, I'm going for the pancakes. But I think I like French toast better. So why? What is this bullshit? What bullshit PR? All right, this is about the time I'm ready to put my French toast in. Okay, Okay. so I'm gonna take our bread, let it soak in. Other side, soak in. Get all that sugar. One more pass, and... Doesn't it look so pretty? This is gonna look so good in post when we like do color correction. I'm gonna flip it over. There we go. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for a nice and brown, golden brown on the other side, and then just let it cook away. I'm gonna flip it back on this side to finish cooking. Okay, these look done to me. Bottoms are cooked too. Okay, there's our French toast. Now, what we're gonna do is take our freshly made whipped cream and put it on top. Mm. And then I'm gonna add my syrup. Okay, shall we? God damn, that is great. It's the perfect texture, it's so good. The cream with the syrup, the brioche. That was amazing. Next, we're gonna make some eggs, but first, Chris is gonna try. <laughs> Just watch as you know, get syrup on yourself. There you go. Okay, so we've made French toast and now we're gonna make eggs. I wanted to make them together, but it's too hard to time management. So just have two people in the kitchen with you. Okay, so the, the reason I was thinking about making breakfast food is because Rodrigo's best friend Kevin was in town and he and I were going to the gym and I was like, do you want me to make you breakfast? He's like, yeah, so I made eggs the way I make eggs. And he was like, these are the best eggs I've ever had in my life. What did you do? And I was like, I just made them, I, I can show you. And I tried showing him how to make them. And then he sent me a picture today. He goes, why do mine look like vomit? <laughs> so I thought I would just show everybody how to actually make eggs. It's very simple. The only thing with this is it's just time consuming. So this is not like a recipe where it's like, I quickly want to make some eggs and then, get, no, this is like, you want really good eggs. You don't want to rush them. But I just prefer this method of really slow cooking. It makes it seem like there's a ton of cream in it and there's no cream in it. So it gives it a creamy consistency. It's almost like using the eggs like carbonara like you know what I mean to give it that creaminess without cream. Here's what we're gonna do. It's just gonna be me and Chris so I'm just gonna do four eggs okay. Again not to sound like the bear for Contessa but it is a good idea to get eggs that are I mean they give you good color. Here's a trick I learned if you ever get a shell in here use the shell to get it out. All right and now we have our four eggs just scramble them. You can do this with a fork, a normal size fork. I don't know why I'm using like a steak fork. You do want to mix them pretty well. I mean, you don't want to over beat them, but you want to make sure that there's no like clumps of white strings going through. Okay, so here we go. This is the tricky part. So you're going to take your heat. You're going to put it on incredibly low. This is how low my heat is. Can you see it? I'm going to take a lot of butter. Nothing I make is healthy. <laughs> I shouldn't pretend that I'm eating healthy food all the time, you know? This is it, so we're just gonna let our butter melt. You know, you're gonna season it too, so you're gonna season it pretty decently with salt. I am using salted butter, but you will see the difference because when you're when you're stirring them, you're gonna start to start, I don't, is the word coagulate? I'm not sure, that's the word, where it's like, you start to see the eggs actually form. All right, I'm moving our butter around. And anyone who says it's a lot of butter, the answer is yes. The butter, it's not even boiling anything, I'm just, bringing in my eggs, just my egg soup. Here's how I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna take a heaping pinch of salt and maybe a tiny second one. Then what you do is this for like 10 minutes. The first thing you wanna do is you really just wanna kinda heat the eggs evenly and then you'll start to see it emulsify. I'm using words I don't understand. <laughs> then it starts to coagulate. At first you're gonna think this is like nothing is happening and your instincts are gonna be you wanna turn on the heat high as possible and get the eggs going, but that's not what we're doing and that will not reward you in the end. I feel like I'm making gelatin and it's 1812. And it's not even good, it's just like the hoof of a cow or a horse or whatever they use to make gelatin. What did 
they use to make gel? Ho horse hoof? <laughs> Something like that. How did they... Boiling skin, tendons, ligaments, and or bones with water. That was the dessert back then. You know who I learned this from? I learned this from watching the Barefoot Contessa. She was showing how to make eggs one day and I was like, that seems like an interesting way of doing it. And now it's the only way I do it. But she learned it from French people because, you know, she thinks she's from France. She also said once in an episode when Jeffrey left, my friend Micah Bloom pointed this out to me. She made Jeffrey coffee ice cream and then she made him chicken stew. And then she left because evidently he can't cook for himself. He's in his 50s or 60s or 70s. She calls him to check on him and whatever undisclosed location she was at. And she was like, Jeffrey, how's the beef stew? And he was eating the ice cream. He goes, oh, it's very good. She goes, busted. I made chicken stew. You're having ice cream first. And the credits started rolling. <laughs> Did it, ding, 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 ding. I never understood in that show when she's walking up the beach in the beginning. Every time she goes to the beach, it seems so windy. It's like, <laughs> Like, we're gonna go have a picnic at the beach. I'm like, why? You're gonna get sand and everything. How fabulous is that? Well, you can start seeing little pieces of egg forming, can't you? Who the hell would have the patience to, I'm sure people are watching this thinking like, who's got the fucking patience? I feel like a witch brewing a, like I'm in Hocus Pocus. Oh, see, look, now see, it's starting to, the eggs are starting to form. Now you'll notice this liquid is gonna serve as sort of like a creaminess, a creamy texture to our egg as you just keep turning it over. But this is exactly what you're looking for. All right, we're getting to a point here where it's like, at this point, if you really like them liquidy, you could eat them this way. I prefer them a little less liquidy than this. Turn the heat off here. So now we're at this consistency. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Crunch a little pepper. Not like Nick and the macaroni and cheese. Just a little peppery. Okay, here we go. Here's our scrambled eggs. Super creamy consistency, super rich in color. And now you see your scrambled eggs. Mmm. Ooh, they're good. They're so creamy. They're good. Well, ladies and gents, this was Mateo Lane's breakfast. So if you want to see me on tour on the Al Dente tour, I'm coming to a city near you. Go to MateoLaneComedy.com. Follow me on Instagram. Like, subscribe. Bye. Bye.